I got out of college, um, I came home, my dad said, get a job, and I went to work with the Mitchell Company, building apartments. I did that for about a year and a half or so, and then the, in Mobile, the um, apartment business just stopped. And um, so then I went to work for Mobile Gas, and I've been there almost 35 years now. My job at first was um, new construction, and so I had to meet people, had to meet these builders, and the only way to do that is join the Home Builders Association. I started going to meetings and everything, and um, slowly um, I would meet one, kind of hang on to him wherever he went. I followed him around at these meetings, and finally um, he had introduced me to somebody else just so where he could have a break to get, get rid of me. And um, I slowly started meeting builders, and that was a chance attending these business after hour meetings and um, from there um, I, I got involved in different committees and everything. And uh, Joe was kind of involved with the home builders before I was and so uh, I started kind of following him around and uh, saw what he was doing and, uh, and I got involved with the home builders and uh, then we become, uh, other than competitors, we become very good friends. I've made a lot of good friends throughout the uh, years. I've met a lot of people over the state. Um, best thing is, is my job now is calling on new contractors, existing contractors, and um, now I'm on a first name basis with just about everybody, and um, really my job's become a lot easier. He has probably been involved in, in everything that, that uh, I know of as far as membership, uh, associate council, uh, the golf tournament, he is real instrumental in that and in raising funds for the foundation. Uh, I, I think any time Joe has been called on by the leadership of the Home Builders Association that he has uh, stepped forward. He's a good leader. You don't mind following behind him. And, uh, and I followed behind him in the state for a long time, but uh, like I say, he, uh, he, he's been on every committee. Uh, he's been from the top to the bottom and back to recycle again. Joe is probably going to be the first guy to be at the pool with a Yeti cooler full of beer when he gets to some aboard. But he'll also be the first guy in a meeting who'll take the bull by the horns and he's going to be a committee chairman or he's going to give his input in a meeting and everything. So I think they're going to remember him two ways as being a, a really good guy and fun to be a pal with, but also he is a leader uh, in the associate council for the state and the local also in Mobile and Baldwin County. Um, back when we were at a um, winter board meeting up in Montgomery, uh, we were I was staying at the Embassy Suites and uh, we had had some meetings and um, that evening uh, I went back up to the room and got kind of hungry so I ordered uh, some room service. Well, after I ate, what, ate my meal and everything, I said, well, I'm gonna uh, go put this outside and head to bed and um, I opened the door and I walked out and I leaned over with my tray and when I leaned over, uh, the door slammed shut on me and I'm stuck out there in my underwear only. No shirt, no shoes, no nothing. I just bit the bullet and went and knocked on the door next door and uh, he was nice enough to let me come in and borrow his phone and they sent somebody up and I got back in the room and that was the last time I said that'll ever happen. We were down at Biloxi for a winter board meeting or uh, one of the board meetings and I had come in, my wife stayed out gambling with Kelly Utes, so I came in, went to sleep, got up, no lights were on, and uh, I thought I was going out the bathroom door, and when I walked out the uh, door to the room, uh, it slammed shut, and again, I'm stuck in my underwear out in the hallway again. I remember Gary was right next door, so I went and started banging on the door, and finally he opened the door. When he opened the door, I ran in. I said, I'll tell you later, but I gotta use your bathroom. And that's it. <laughs> Joe is, uh, is gonna be remembered for, for being um, a leader in trying to bring additional members into the association, trying to think ahead, being proactive, and what are we gonna do in a couple of years when, when uh, I'm, I'm not around or you're not around to, to be in a leadership role on the Associates Council. So. Just I want to congratulate him for what he's accomplished and uh, it's been a long time coming 
But you know, when, when Joe decides to call it quits, the Mobile, the Baldwin County, and the state is gonna really be losing a good warrior who's, who's been a very good advocate for our, for our industry. And uh, so all I can say is, buddy, good luck, and uh, you deserve what you're getting. Extreme congratulations go out to Joe for his passionate uh, uh, involvement in this association and, and for the friendship that I have with him. It's something that I really thought would never happen. I, I'm, I'm very grateful for being put up and selected. Um, it's one of those things, I know it's the highest honor I've ever received from anything, and I'm, I'm tickled to death to be here and much the, uh, the guys that are getting it with me. I want to thank my wife, Karen, and I um, also want to thank Kelly Utz and Gary Cooper for showing up in, in the interview for me. <laughs> and I just want to thank everybody. I um, want to thank um, both, also, don't want to forget to thank Mobile Gas and then like to thank um, Baldwin County Home Builders and also the Mobile Home Builders because I've done work in both those associations and then again, thank the state home builders for selecting me. I knew when I was, when I was going into high school I would never make it to college. Uh, my family wouldn't be able to provide for that. So uh, I made the decision when, when I come out of my ninth grade to go to a local vocational school and to move, my, move the location where I would go to high school. And knew it would be tough, but I'd heard rumors it was a really good school, and so I went to this technical school. And, and it was the best move I ever made in my life. I've just gone into business, I've been in business a few years, and in our local area where I was working and we lived, there was a uh, member of this association, a well-known past president, and his name was J.C. Pritchett, and I was I uh, invited to do some work with the Pritchett family and um, one day he uh, walked up to me and he said, uh, have you ever heard of the Home Builders Association? And I said, well I've heard something about it but I don't know anything about it. And so he invited me to a meeting. It, it takes a lot I think to be able to, um, to run your own business and to have a successful family life. It takes a lot of patience and organization and um, time commitment and that's one thing that when Rendon is willing to do is commit. So um, through that practice he has developed the ability that he needs to work with the, um, with the association in positive ways. I remember when the economy crashed and we lost our major sponsor for our foundation golf tournament and we were scrambling like what are we going to do, who's going to do this and I will never forget I was sitting there with Rendon's wife Cindy and all of a sudden Rendon stands up and he says I'll be the sponsor this year and Cindy looks at me and she said what did he just say? I said oh my goodness I, I would not have wanted to be in that car on the way home that day. His work uh, with education as far as secondary, post-secondary, and even with the industry on after-hours programs. Uh, and working with the foundation at Alabama Home Builders to establish these programs and fund these programs and, and provide opportunities for young people for uh, a career path in the plumbing and gas trade in the state of Alabama um, is very notable. And uh, I don't think it could have been done without his work. He's very active in um, supporting our trade schools and making sure that um, some of the kids that need to go will go and can go. And I know this for a fact, uh, just from personal relationships, he's tried to hire every child coming out of high school in Shelby County. So um, he really takes an interest in our children and um, our association as well as our trades. When you, when you think about all that he's been able to accomplish, in, in my mind, that could be his lasting legacy, is the work that he's done over the past four years for education. He, he's actually a great help to me in events that I do for the Home Builders because I can always call on Rendon and he's always there to help. He's never said no. I don't think the word exists in his vocabulary. It was really pretty funny. It was him and several several other of our friends, our guy friends within the association, but they 
dressed up as women and he was Delta Dawn. Um, beard, you know, hair, the whole thing. It wasn't pretty, but it sure was funny. And they pranced themselves around the pool and raised an awful lot of money for Outback. He is so passionate about the, about the industry that we all work in, and he's willing to give it um, his 100%, sometimes 110%, to make sure that not just he and his business succeed, but that everybody around him is brought into that circle and is successful. Brendan Davis is the industry. He embodies everything that's good about the building industry in the state of Alabama. And there, there is no one more deserving to be inducted, as far as I'm concerned, into the Hall of Fame. Brendan, I'd just like to say congratulations to you, a very well-deserved award for you. And again, I'm honored to be called your friend. I'm really proud of him, very, very proud of him and what he's, a, what he's accomplished and would like to say congratulations and that I love you. Good job. Uh, he's earned everything he's ever gotten in his life. Never, nothing's ever been given to him. And, uh, and I, I, I have the greatest respect and admiration for Lyndon Davis. So congratulations, Lyndon. So. Yeah, I would like to thank a few people. Uh, you know, my, my wife, my children, uh, Cindy DeCoe and Lorenda, uh, they're both in the industry now um, and they've, they've basically been involved in the association since they were, you know, in their diapers. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a family of the association in Birmingham and I'd like to thank the whole, whole entire family of the Greater Birmingham Association of Home Builders. There's a lot of local local people. I, I, I can sit here and, and mention their names, uh, but one other particular is uh, none of this could be possible without uh, my office manager, and, and her name is Carol Lowry, and you know she's been she's been she's been she's enabled me to do what I do, and, and, a, and a special thanks to her. It's it's, it's, it's I'm it's I'm, I'm honored uh, for my peers to. Uh, to put me in this position. I moved down to Fairhope in September of 78 after Hurricane Frederick. My father-in-law was building down there. In January of 79, he took me to the IBS convention. At that time, I think Von Gravely from Birmingham was the national president. I went out there and, I mean, that was it. I was hooked. First time I met Cliff, he was on a tractor with that notorious straw hat with the green visor on it and told him what I wanted to do after graduating from Auburn. He said, yeah, we'll do something. So uh, I graduated from Auburn and, and joined Cliff in 1997, and we've been business partners since. What I do or my occupation is just as important as anybody's occupation. And the, the things they've taught me about the process and how the world works and how government works, and if you don't take care of your own industry, nobody's gonna take care of it. So it just, I guess they, it's just been drilled in me. Cliff has, been, was, has always been a fun person to be, a, be around and be with. Um, uh, as when he got to be president in, I guess it was 2010, um, shortly after the, the uh, recession had hit, we were full blown into chaos and, and the unfun part of our industry and our business. You know, uh, one of the great things that he, the fun things that he, he, I did with him was we started up the meat and taters tour. And, and it was because he wanted to get out to the people and, and visit with all the associations. One of the only presidents that I, state presidents that I know that went to every association. And uh, we wanted to get out there and tell them that this was, this is the meat and taters of the HBAA. Cliff's commitment to the association and his involvement uh, teaches that the more you put into something, the more you get out. Yeah, you know, probably I'd say the most humbling experience was when Mr. Kaiser called me and asked me to to uh, take Don Nolan's place as a trustee, you know, for the self-insurance fund. I mean, that, 
that that right there. I don't know how to I don't I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't get any better than that. He loves and shows through his actions uh, the love for his family and the love for the HBAA family. I mean, I mean, how many people do you know that has dressed up as many times as Cliff Pittman has uh, and, and willingly done so because he loves the, loves the industry and he wants to do whatever he can to help further its, our cause and our mission. Cliff's a, a principled man and uh, he believes in hard work and, and, and helping others, serving the community. And if you want to know where Cliff stands on something, just ask him. And if he gets that finger shaking, you know you've gotten somewhere. If you talk to him enough and you see him enough, you can always tell whether you need to be close to Cliff because he's happy or, or back off because he's serious because he's got his hands motions. And when his hands are moving like this, horizontally, those are happy hands. We're all good. You good? We're all good. You know what I'm talking about? Now, if his hands start moving like this and he gets that finger going like this, then you need to back up because then, then we're getting some serious talk. Well, of course, I, I, you, I can't ever forget um, our YouTube video back we did when we were trying to encourage people to come to summer board. Uh, he and I were next to the pool and, and, and he was taking a dumbbell and he was lifting the dumbbell up like this. And, and of course it was all, uh, part of it was just all unscripted, but he picked up the real heavy one and, he, and it almost like he slammed his head down on the table. And, and I, whenever my wife and I are down the dumps and we need a laugh, we replay that video because it makes us laugh every single time we watch it. Cliff's phrase that has stuck with me is, you're not here for a long time, you're here for a good time. And to me, that puts life in perspective, and that's what Cliff continues to do, teach you what, it, what life is about. He loves his family, he, uh, he loves his friends, uh, and he loves the HBAA family. I'd like to thank Cliff for teaching me strong principles and truths and how to be a Christian man. For this reason, I cannot be more uh, honored and proud of Cliff for being inducted into the Home Builders Hall of Fame. Cliff, uh, you, you are a great guy and you've done a, a great job with, you, with the things that you have set out to accomplish. Business, family, great family, great friends. Uh, just want to say congratulations to you. You are you're very worthy and uh, of, of this honor and this award, and I'm proud to be a uh, part of it and a part of it being your friend. Thank you, Cliff. One for Jody. She never complained one time, you know, about me being gone, this or that, and all these kids, you know, Jenna, Jill, Jenna, Clay, they supported me the whole time, you know, whole time, never any questions. Lord, the year I was president, I pretty well took a sabbatical, and Robert, you know, my partner ran everything. And I, I stayed probably in Montgomery and on the road more than I stayed in Fairhope, and I'd never been able to do it, you know, without, a, you know, without him. I just, I'll put it to you, like my daddy would say, I is it on top of the mountain. I mean, I am on top of the mountain. It means, you know, it's great, well worth it.